all-new Land Rover LR2. Hello and welcome to Tech 101. I'm Eric Hesseldahl, Senior Technology Writer here at BusinessWeek.com. This is our weekly podcast where we answer your questions about technology. And as usual, send us those questions. The address is Tech 101 at BusinessWeek.com. We love your questions. We need your questions, so keep them coming. Last week, I talked way too much about wireless security. And so what we decided to do is take uh, what was really a long episode, split it into two. So right now we're going to show you part two of the basics about wireless networking security. Here you go. All right, now I've disconnected the Linksys router, and I'm going to move over to the Airport Extreme from Apple. Now, by the way, uh, don't be confused. This thing works with Macs equally as well as with PCs. And the application I'm going to show you here is identical, whether it's on a Mac or PC. Uh, it's just configured a little differently. Instead of configuring it from a web browser, like we did with the Linksys, you have an application called Airport Utility, and uh, shows you very nicely what the application looks like. All right, so let's look at the access control on the Airport Extreme. We pull down to timed access. Radius is something that really only applies to corporate users. And here you have a default setting. Everybody can get on, and it's unlimited. So if you've got kids, I'm going to configure this computer. And there you see I just automatically added in that, uh, that MAC address. Now the other thing that you can do here, say you've got a kid operating this computer, and you don't want them to have access to the Internet after, say, 10 p.m. So you can set that. I only want him to have access on weekdays between 9 and 5. There we go. So, now go back in and edit it. And change it back. I want weekdays all day. So you can work with the various options to set this just the way you like it. So I'm actually going to delete it now. And now I'm updating all the new settings to the router, and they'll be different. And you can do this multiple times. And uh, if ever you screw up, there's usually a hard reset button on the back. Uh, there's one on the Linksys, and there's also one right down here on the airport. And uh, if you screw up and you get yourself locked out, maybe you lose a password or you get confused, you hit that button, you hold it down, and everything goes back to just the way it started. Sometimes it's better to start with the default and start with a clean slate. And I've had to do it many times myself. Now, one thing I need to show you before we go um, is how to find your MAC address on Windows. I didn't get to do that before because I had the MAC up here. And so let's take a look at the Windows situation. Uh, you need to bring up a command line. So you go to run CMD. It's already been typed in there. And go OK. And you're going to type ipconfig slash all. Basically shows network connection information coming in to your computer. Let me scroll up a little bit here. And in this summary, a lot of this you wouldn't otherwise need to know about, but with if you want to enable MAC address on your router, MAC address filtering on your router, you need this information. So you're going to find here Ethernet adapter wireless. That's referring to the wireless card inside your computer. Physical address. Well, that is your MAC address. And so you see the 12 digits over here. No colons are separated by a dash, but essentially the same. A zero, zero, and so on. So you will write that down and then go back into the configuration screen for your router, as I showed you before, whether it's on the airport or on the Linksys. Um, when you're in the airport, there's usually a clever little button that says this computer. So it'll automatically cut and paste that MAC address into the field for you. But on the Linksys, you'll want to uh, type it in manually, and uh, so you'll want to write it down ahead of time. So there you go. That's how to find your MAC address on Windows. Great way to establish a VIP network, VIP list, as it were, for your home network. So 
covered a lot of ground today. If none of this made sense, feel free to drop me an email and I'll try to clear it up for you because I do promise that this stuff is supposed to be simple and when it's not, it's not your fault. And that applies to when I explain it too. So if you need a little more guidance on exactly what all this refers to, drop me an email. I'll do my best to answer you. Tech 101 at businessweek.com. And as I said before, keep the questions coming because we love them and we need them. So that wraps it up for this week. <sighs> I'm a little worn out. <laughs> that was a lot of information. Come back next week and we'll talk about something else. See you next week. The all-new Land Rover LR2.